Good morning. Wherever you are, welcome. This is from Glasgow, Brother Glenn, in Scotland. What I would like to talk about today is unconditional love. The unconditional love of God our Father. The Father of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. In a world where there is no love, where there is only hatred, selfishness, a world where there's just self-centeredness and people tramping over each other in the pursuit of what they believe to be happiness that only leads to more unhappiness. So I want to bring to you with your permission and I want to discuss with you, both you and I, what it means to be the recipients of God's unconditional love to one another and what it means and what he expects of you and me. Now given it the title of the title of our responsibility to love God more than ourselves. Our responsibility to love God more than ourselves. Before we start Let's just bow our heads in a moment of prayer and ask God for his blessing upon this. Father God, we thank you and praise you for this new day. We thank you and praise you for your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you too for the gift of God the Holy Spirit who resides in each of us. And I pray, Lord, that both of us would learn from this message what you have to say to me and what you have to say to my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ all over the world. This we ask in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The scriptures are taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 5. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Matthew chapter 22 verses 37 and 39 Jesus said to him you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. And the second is like it you shall love your neighbour as yourself. To be able to show the love of Jesus Christ to one another can be difficult. If we continue to love our own importance and like to hear the sound of our own voices, what motivates you and me? A huge question. Is it the love of self? and to control others to do to do what we would like them to do. Do we have our own agenda? Our own agenda to fulfil? Or are we motivated by the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ and his love for you and me and the lost? Jesus Christ our risen, glorified Lord lived a selfless life to show the love of God the Father, the love of God our Father to the world. He laid down his glory in heaven to come to earth. He laid down his glory in heaven to come to earth. As a man and die a murderous, violent, bloody death by the means of barbaric cruelty ever devised of death by crucifixion nailed to a wooden cross 
but still continuing to be God. He was raised on the third day by God his Father. What marvelous love. It, it, it also has to be it, it has to be said it also has to be said that he came of his own free will in obedience to God his father it was never forced upon him he could have taken himself back to heaven at any time many wanted to follow him while he was alive but bolt when challenged to take up the cross and lead the life he was leading which at, which at the time which at that time could lead to a violent death in the Roman arena Because the emperor had declared that only he was God. We are still called. You and I are still called to carry the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. You and I are still called to carry the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. By showing his love to all. By showing his love to all by the help guidance and power of God the Holy Spirit who lives in each of us if we humble ourselves before him the great Apostle Paul exemplified the love of Jesus Christ his Lord in his personal witness and testimony of that love to everyone he preached the gospel of Jesus Christ filled with the Spirit of God your faith and my faith must experience the Spirit of the the Spirit of God the Holy Spirit living in each of us working out the love of Christ working out the love of Christ which has been deposited into our hearts which has been deposited into our hearts by the work of God the Holy Spirit the work of God the Holy Spirit within each of us to the world of men and to each of us who belong to the body of Christ it is a highly personal decision to want to know our risen glorified Lord let me say that again it is a highly personal decision to want to know more to want to know a risen glorified Lord and Saviour more and more Jesus Christ the hope of glory but there is a cost to all of this let me emphasize this again it is a highly personal decision to want to know a risen glorified Lord and Saviour more and more Jesus Christ the hope of glory but there is a cost to all of this learning to be exalted by him and broken by him to go again and be exalted by him and again be broken and go again to suffer even at the hands of some of the members of the body of Christ not easy because you must swallow your pride 
and I must swallow my pride. Allowing God and His Spirit to deal with it. The prerequisite is to hand your life totally over to God. The, pre the prerequisite is to hand is to hand your life totally over to God. To hand your life totally over to God. For me to hand my life totally over to God. God the Holy Spirit. To use in whatever way he feels he can use you for the glory of the kingdom. The Apostle Paul, in his first letter to the saints at Corinth, describes it superbly. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8 and 13. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. And now abide. Faith, hope, love. These three. But the greatest of these is love. Again, the prerequisite of the love of God. Making itself visible in our lives. In our lives is repeated. In Paul's letter to the saints at Rome. Again, the prerequisite of the love of God making itself visible in our lives is repeated in Paul's letter to the saints in Rome. Chapter 5, verse 5. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God making itself visible Because of, let me repeat that. Now hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Now hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us if we think we can love people by our own self efforts we are totally lost before we start because we are motivated by self and God in his spirit in us has been dropped favouring our own intellect which will lead to nothing, slipping back into our old ways of life. Slipping back into the, our old ways of life. God's love, as described by God's love, as described in the New, in the New Testament by Jesus Christ, our risen glorified Lord our risen glorified Lord and later by his apostle Paul comes from the Greek word agape a word really used in Greek culture of the first century outside of the New Testament to be able to show this type of special love to one another the Holy Spirit needs to be the Holy Spirit needs to be fully, fully in control of the whole of our lives. The Holy Spirit needs to be fully in control of the whole of our lives. Or we will fail miserably. The reason why 
God the Holy Spirit has been given to each of us and he lives in each of us and we need to surrender to him to be able to love one another without looking for something in return and their best interests as God sees it whether they like us or not for going what you and I want for going what you and I want even although even although we may think that we are better equipped than those chosen the leadership are put in place to make these decisions guided by God guided by God the leadership are put in place to make these decisions guided by God and if not like us like us are answerable answerable to God it is all part of God's agape love the unconditional love God our Father has blessed us with in the person of his son Jesus Christ our risen glorified he wants us to give unconditionally to one another and the world of man it is battle of the will and our minds and our minds of who will control it whether our carnality or God the Holy Spirit and only he can help us to show the unconditional love God deposits into our hearts to the body of Christ And the outside world I know I cannot I know I cannot do it without submitting to the control of God the Holy Spirit blessed be his name I love him in the same way I love God the Father same way I love God our Father and God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, my risen, glorified Lord. Each of them, each of them, of the substance, each of them of the substance of the one triune God. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. You shall love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your strength. God's chosen people, Israel, was on their obedience, obedience to him, on their obedience towards him, on a personal relationship of love towards him on a personal relationship of love towards him you and I have been chosen by God let me say that again you and I have been chosen by God through his son Jesus Christ our risen glorified Lord and we are commanded we are commanded to love him and we are commanded to love him the very same way with the help of God the Holy Spirit the heart in Hebrew thought 
was the seat of the mind and will. Jesus quoted this verse in the Gospel of Mark. Jesus quoted this verse in the Gospel of Mark. He adds the mind to emphasize understanding. Emphasize understanding. Chapter 12, verses 30 to 31. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second like it, and the second like it is this. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. I'll repeat these verses of scripture. We need to drink them into our spirit, into our soul. We need to be challenged by them. We need to ask God, God's spirit to help us to put these, put this love into practice in how we live, how we breathe, how people see us in our witness and our testimony to everyone around us. So I'm going to stress these verses again and just strike them in and feel God speaking to you in that small, in that still, small voice. Mark chapter 12, verses 30 and 31. And you shall love the Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul with all your mind and the second like it is this is this you shall love your neighbor as yourself there is no other there is no other commandment greater than these there is no other commandment greater than these. Let us with the help of God the Holy Spirit manifest this agape love to one another and our neighbours which is the world at large in our personal witness and testimony of the love. Personal witness and testimony of the love God blesses each of us with and we in turn bless our neighbours which is the world at large thank you God bless God bless you for listening and bless your faith Amen